fellow adventurers. We are coming to you live from the Mystic Forge itself, or the restructuring of it anyways. I'm here with D-Roy, and uh, we're going to be doing some light adventuring today. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to get him in fighting shape. Um, I know some of our uh, subscribers would be happy, but uh, old D-Roy chose AD. Makes me sad, but it's okay. I won't, I won't blame him too hard. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna grind uh, for some gear that we could possibly use and uh, theory craft with for next week when we go back to Cyrodiil. I had so much fun going out there. I'm like, well, I'd like to try to do this without being a Zerg. So maybe next time I'll be able to do some standoff battles. But uh, we're gonna do some light adventuring and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, get on our way. You know what? Uh, you let's let's hit an area we both haven't uh, adventured in. What do you say? We'll do it Sounds together. good to me. Do it together. Let me do this one. Quests. Take off. Have you done your event stuff for today, though? I have done my event stuff already. Okay. So we ain't got to worry about that. <clears throat> Where's that? There it is. Abundant. And abundant. We're going to go to the Deadlands. I haven't done anything in the Deadlands. I also haven't touched the Reach at all, so... Um, where, uh, where I haven't done either one, so... Okay. Good. Uh, where else have you have you gone? Or that you started in? I have only done uh, Canaris Roost, and I'm currently uh, Arbidon. Oh, okay. You're, Ardon. you're, you're in Ardon right now. Been. Nice. It's Ardon. Ardon's not a bad place. I'm enjoying it. Oh yeah, it, it, it's a fun place to be. I've made some of the locals mad, but you know. <laughs> As a Khajiit, that's not hard to do. All you need to do is show up, or uh, get in the crouch position, and they're already mad at you. <laughs> All right, let's head to uh, Mugra Far Grave. Just travel to me. All right. We're just, uh, the first arrow we seek quest or receive, we're going to grab it, and then we're just going to follow it to its completion. We're not going to grab up every arrow in existence. We're just going to, one quest at a time. Nice, steady pace. Alrighty, I'm here. And I am on my way. It looks like some sort of crazy abstract painting in here. It always does. I enjoy the crap out of it. <laughs> Speaking of things you can enjoy the crap out of, so I, I, was, I picked up on something yesterday when I was uh, grinding for some leads and uh, trying to get some shots for the next video, and apparently you can get a Daedric crafting table. An enchanting table. No. Oh yeah, and it looks most impressive. Most impressive for sure. Awesome. Hey, hey, you guys. There he goes. Alrighty. The what Anchor. Is. You should be able to see a guy right sure here. Sure as bothersome as that yes. damn Tremora. No matter. The vote of rune is placed. And now you die. You to brought this, this on yourself, Dagonist. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> she straight up decks him. No graffiti in my area. Get out of here. The glowing hands. <laughs> we have something in common. If you're not a cultist, we should talk. Damn, Welcome to the stream, y'all. We're doing a little bit of light adventuring today. To We're going to get D-Roy uh, fighting ready for Cyrodiil, while we also grind magic. out some gear that I, I can use for some theory crafting and building to make my experience in Cyrodiil even better next time. Just like uh, before we even got here, I actually ran a, uh, was it, um, what's it, March of, uh, sacrifice, March, of, uh, March of Sacrifices. And got my Balrogs finally, so it'll I'll be able to hit a little bit harder when I get in those fights in PvP land. But I don't think I want to use Clever Alchemist, so we're gonna to try to go for Titanborns here in a little bit. But we're gonna do a little bit of light questing first. So don't be free, uh, don't be afraid to hit the chat if you have any questions, and uh, we'll be talking about some stuff. So just hit us up in the uh, chat anytime. This is Fargrave, a city in oblivion with permanent and open PVE time. Oh realms. yeah, PVE time. 
the cultists place those votive runes faster than it's I been a minute since them. I actually got to uh, sit back and enjoy a little bit of light questing been so busy That's with lead hunting and PvP Gamora. prepping you forget to enjoy the game sometimes <laughs> though I did find something interesting um, I was looking uh, for uh, some, uh, some Learned, rat loops and getting them uh, filmed out, my help, and I found something I for a uh, Daedric enchanting the table. Runes are clearly and I'm like, immediate nice. And I, I, I believe I know where all this. the pieces are, so I, I might try pay. to pick those up as we're questing today. And I'll show you where they're at. Uh, hey, hey, what's up, Terran? Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah uh, Hello, Jessica. You to talk to my contacts. Madam Wim's establishment is here in the city. Initiate to let me know if he's too quiet or too loud, and I can adjust. It's been a minute since I've had uh, my, I've been on my screen, so then things might be a little wonky. So if things are out of sync or too loud or whatever, just let us know. I know Lyrant. Really? All I know is that she's a Dramora who has an interest in the Dagon cult known as the Order of the Waking Flame. Order of the... This is where we were supposed to meet, but all I saw when I got here was that cultist and the votive rune he was casting. <laughs> no. Yeah, the, the Order of the Waking Flame was a, a menace Make of everything the, uh, more intense. Black Not book. sure why. Lyrant said the magic in her letter would allow her to recognize me. I think that's what the glow was. Yeah, no spoilers. I still gotta do that. To care about all this. No, yeah, I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> the grasp of the I didn't know. Uh, I mean, I went and got Miri and Bastion. That's about Dramora. all I did in Blackwood. Right. Before I switched over to get my soul covenant. sucked out by uh, Molag Mole. <laughs> yeah. You, the you had to go to the point. Prince of Domination's realm to let him know you're in. <laughs> You know me, I had to go get dominated and choked. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you woke up that place with arms wide open. <laughs> <laughs> you like Cadwell? Yeah, Cadwell's the best. That was the soul-sucking D-Roy. <laughs> well, since mortals aren't bound to the stricture, the grass pretty much ignores us. Unless we interfere mm. with the stricture. I can't speak well, for him. It wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the most pleasant experience, but it wasn't the grasp simply doesn't horrible. Yeah. It wasn't as fun as when you got chucked off that spiral staircase onto the ground after being choked, right? <laughs> <laughs> Madam Wim is a dark seducer who has her thumb on the pulse of Fargrave. No, Nothing happens not. here that she isn't keenly aware of. She deals in favors and information for a price. Ooh, deals and, and favors and information. Help, That's the, the kind of stuff Robert likes to get into, account. deals and information. Initiate Tilgo's a you know, I, I, of the Order of the Waking Flame. He was my friend before the cult recruited him. <laughs> Turns out, Tilgo's had a change of heart. He's been providing me with inside information about where the cult plans to strike Ooh. next. <laughs> He's it out. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Wim runs an establishment in Fargrave called the House of So, uh, what would you guys think of, uh, I'm still black label to the couch. Oh, that sucks, man. That does You'll suck. Find initiate Tilgo in is the, is the hammy still giving you troubles? Known as the, burn. the plaza of portals will take you there. The plaza of portals oh, and I gotta ask y'all, who's excited about the card game? I know I am, so there's gonna be like an introduction to a card game uh, inside within the Elder Scrolls uh, game set here, so I I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. That announcement kind of got me really hyped, and especially the dual mounts. I, l I love the idea of a double mount. I wonder how that'd work in Is PvP it? land. I hadn't noticed. Look, we only just met. If you turn out to be trustworthy, Good I'll tell you question. a strange tale. If not, well, we'll deal with that. I'm kind. I I I'm kind of curious about the card game. I'm not gonna get my hopes Perhaps. up just yet. And maybe it's just a fashion. <laughs> well, they say it's they're gonna try to make now, it uh, to where to it's Madam gonna be whether you've played a lot and you're like max rest. level and you got all the stuff in it, or whether you're new, it's gonna be even because uh, when you create both your decks, because you get two decks, they'll shuffle all the cards together. And then you draw from the same pile. And here's the uh, pet crab from the uh, live stream. As a crossroads, it's natural for people from everywhere to wind up here. 
I check on the mortals of the city on a regular basis, help them as I can. That's why Wim calls me the Fool of Fargrave. The because biggest. I care. And then you know the cult is. Hmm. All right. The glow seems I'm to ready have when faded. you are. You're really bad at butcher. <clears throat> Yay. Let's not talk about Gwent. <laughs> or Gwent, so, whatever. I, I, I never played that. Oh, you got it on the PS4? Nice. I say I'm gonna I'm gonna secure my copy maybe here in the next month or so. If uh, I'm gonna have to pick up some extra hours and uh, kind of make things work as far as money goes, but I'm gonna get them. I have to buy at least three uh, three copies of it. One for me, one for Rose, and then one for our cameraman. Why won't you all just leave me alone? Man. Something terrible is about to happen. I just it's a cost that only occurs once a year, but man, is it is it is it a big cost? Alrighty, so we need to find our way around here. Oh, stand by. Oh, and guys, so just let you know that first piece for the Daedric crafting station is uh, found from in uh, enchanting or the runes, the rune stones all across the realm but you can only get the next piece from the uh, safe boxes I don't know if they have to be gotten within the deadlands themselves or far grave so we're gonna test that out while we're here oh, You've got a knack oh no there it is spell scorched things. table so confirmed you can get them in far grave as well Bastion didn't like that Maybe you should go somewhere else, Bastion. We're literally in the realm of demons. A That's what you get, Robert, for traveling around with Discount Robert. <laughs> Dis <laughs> Discount Robert's not a thief. Discount Robert's not a thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm excited you did get your Malakath ring. I, I was so happy for you. I'm like, yes, now she's got some good quality gear to run. <laughs> the High Elf Lady is back. Another poor mortal succumb to the power of the Dagonic votives. How unfortunate. But what So is Big Nord guy. A new fate. <laughs> so is Big Nord what guy. What does Madam Wim always say? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I love how they're trying to sneak up on that door and he just <laughs> he shoulder checks the door and breaks on in like he owns the joint. You have an incomparable <laughs> mean. Most in this celestial palanquin we call Fargrave have the barest patina on their auras. But you... I know multiple buyers who would pay top price for a soul like yours. Shall we trade? Yeah, I know it's like um, down there in um, Rothgar. Those bosses are built different, man. They really are. That is, uh, they can if you're taking them solo, but you really have to be strategic says, about how you fight them. One of my favorite Unless you just know how to do crazy amounts of DPS and like, keep like a, a shield her. on you at all times, but First, she you know, that's not how I play. Then extremely <laughs> melancholy. <laughs> Now she's practically mindless. But tell me, darling, what brings you to Madame Wims? Oh yeah, she she's a good looking. I I like her voice. She she has a little bit uh, higher pitch than uh, Literant. She did, did she? All true. But I hate to brag. She's an unusual mortal, though, isn't she? Have she Zed Zed Does Edgermora have freckles? And clever. She sent you. She does. Not to her tab <laughs> at the house she got freckles. Place. As a new customer, your first transaction is free. Uh, who would have thought? Oh man, that that outfit is reminiscent of a um, a dark elf outfit ah, I used to see. Two topics on the lips of many a Fargravian. The Dagonists are mortal rabble mm, with a fetish delicious. for destruction. The votive runes are prayers <laughs> to love their that prince made manifest. Spells that seem to affect Listed only him. mortals, like poor Josette here. An interesting question. Alas, I have no answer. But you're not the only newcomer to our fair city seeking such Did knowledge. we walk into a brothel? My eyes about town you might as well have. The they deal in trades and secrets, so, I She's mean... She's in the shambles, searching for Sister Seldina. <laughs> of course, when she asks for your body, it's for a completely different reason than what you think. You know, she's probably going to do something or have something manifest in it. Who knows? <laughs> they, they do, they do soul-sucking here. They do a lot of soul sucking here. Soul searching and soul sucking. <laughs> you want more? I'm giving away an awful lot as part of your free sample, but I am feeling generous today. 
Sister Seldina Take leaves me to the ladies, madam. She and Lyrid seem to have it out for one another, though I have yet to ascertain why. As the name implies, I trade in eccentricities and capriciousness. I buy and sell <laughs> instead of what Matt got. <laughs> My establishment carries indulgences from across oblivion. And information, of course. Yeah, he had Along to trade his mobility for a while to get whatever he got. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Mm. You came here with. I, I'm not gonna ask no more questions. We're good, Madam Wim. You see, Ness, this dude is um. He is a Daedric. God, what's his name? The Daedric Prince of Deals. Um. Has a dog. Give me a second. I'll think of his name. But yeah, there's, there seems to be a collection and a mixture, a gather of all kinds of Daedra from different planes of oblivion. Oh, now, what should we do with Joe's hmm? All right. What else we got here? There's a the quest marker still in here. So, what are we doing in here? Oh, look at that dude! Uh -huh. And Zeru always attracts them, does he not? Oh, I didn't picture the him Judas, for a Daedra. The irrepressible priors. You wish to know what Minzeru can offer you <laughs> Which in this house dangerous, of meant to say. <laughs> yes. Well, Minzeru has the panacea. tonic, living one. My golden panacea to make your insides shine. It, d it sounds like uh, you're trying to administer bleach to people's souls. Um. Of course. Gold begets gold, living one. All right, guys. Unlike the madam, Should I do it? provides no free symbol. Should, should I give this a shot? I feel like there's going to be some sort of debuff on me once I take it. <laughs> Ro is Robert the guinea pig today? I can I can already see Jess typing yes yes take it Robert take it. <laughs> yep, yeah, there it was. <laughs> Wait, do you have a, do you have another quest in here? I don't I don't have one in here. No, there's not a quest. Oh snap! What happened? Oh. Oh my god. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Not everything went dark. <laughs> there was there was there was a gagging sound. I looked like a head butted him. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we need to get out of here, D-Roy. The quest leads us out. I, I was just goofing off and wasting gold. Yeah, that oh was god. What you take it to? <laughs> yeah. What? What just happened to me? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Hold on, I'm gonna check my stats. See if there's a debuff or something. Oh uh, yeah, I've got some kind of buff or something. No, it's, yeah, it's called the Golden Panacea. Well, hold on. You don't look glowy. I mean, do I look like I'm brighter or anything? I'm not sure what the Golden Panacea does. It's a, uh, it's a stat that lasts for an hour. Uh, I don't know. Watch after an hour, we just die, and then while we're in the middle of a dungeon or something, we'll just keel over. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. All right, for you guys that, that just came in, just to let you know, we are just kind of doing a little bit of light adventuring, a little catch-up recap, and I'm letting you all know how to get a Daedric enchanting table while we're here at it. So if you are interested for that, uh, just keep with us as we uh, venture around out here, and I'll tell you the different areas and where to find it. So if that be something you want to hear, just type, let me hear about it in the chat. Who are we going to next? It looks like it's Finally, got... somebody besides me got force choked. <laughs> What's the... Maybe that's what it is. The golden panacea keeps you from getting choked. <laughs> I hope so. Although it looked like I did choke on it. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it, lo it looked like you got uh, you headbutted the guy, and he he started choking as well. So you. stay away from me. Stay away. 
That graffiti man giving people the willies. Here we go. Looks like we need to head out into the Deadlands right now to continue on the main quest. We'll just take this portal to the burn. <laughs> that lasts only for an hour, then back to D-Roy daily choking. <laughs> <laughs> At least I haven't. At least I can't get choked and get choked. That's a plus. That is a plus. That doesn't seem to happen there, does it? No. All right. So at least, at least not yet. I'm only level 16 though, so <laughs> give it time. <laughs> Do you see where we need to go? I see the quest marker for the uh, for the air. Oh, right over here. I see it. All right, follow me. Oh, please do. We need, we, def, we, need, we need to hook up and go to Ciro, uh, Ciro soon. Meet out in the open field of battle. So, if you take a look here, runestones. This is one part of the enchanting uh, station. Any of the runestones are inside the Deadlands. If you collect it, you have a chance to grab up uh, one piece of the lead for the enchanting table. It's a three-piece uh, antiquity. So, I mean, I've already gotten the first piece and scried it already, so don't worry about that. <laughs> so, that's where you get the first piece. Do they have the other crafting stations? Yes, they do actually. There's a uh, there's a Orsinium crafting station. That's a. Oh. oh. To now. And if you caught us earlier, the second piece of the crafting station, we had, uh, condition, we had picked up uh, from a safe box. So any of the safe boxes within Fargrave and the Deadlands, if you uh, pick them, you have a chance to grab the second one, the Scorched Table. So that was, that was the second one. Person I was supposed to meet. Here we go. Initiate what do you want? Explain yourself, oh, right stranger. There. The Deadlands isn't a place for chance encounters. It's the perfect place for chance encounters. You kidding me? The Anchorite promises to get me away from the cult in exchange for information. I hold up my end of the bargain, and what do I get? Another fool seeking knowledge from Portilgo. <laughs> This is the last time you hear. Make sure the anchorite knows that. You got, you got transported back to your alliance base. <laughs> I didn't know that you could that could happen. You know that that sounds like yeah. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like you just weren't fast enough on the potion bar, and after you drank it, you just died because they they took you out. <laughs> but if not, I need to go. I need to go there and experience this for myself. I would love to see how that happens. Lowly initiates all the details of their master plan. But I hear things. Sister Seldina wants to take over. Let me Fargrave. guess. You were close to Bruma when that happened, weren't you? All kinds of all We're kinds of bad Bruma stuff like that happened, that happened around Bruma. I don't know exactly how. Sister Seldina leads the Fargrave cell. She has a grand vision for the Waking Flame. It starts with Fargrave, but it doesn't end there. She wants control of the portals. With them, she can hand Lord Dagon all of Oblivion. <laughs> Even Nurn. Near Fa uh, Fargrave? Okay, yeah. The Dramora? She's practically all the Order's old guard talk about these days. Seems she's been causing a lot of trouble for Sister Seldina, interfering with her plans. Something's about to happen. Tell the Anchorite. Fargrave's in danger. Hmm. The How can order has Fargrave camps be throughout in danger? Fargrave and the Deadlands. Sister Seldina could be anywhere. But tell the Anchorite to check the shambles. Hmm. 
Look for an abandoned building, someplace hot. I heard one of the devastators complaining about the heat. <laughs> Mirrod is about to hide her beacon there. You think? We're talking about the deadlands, <laughs> no. Yeah. But the shambles <laughs> is a different story. That section of Fargrave can't have too many places hot enough to make a devastator <laughs> uncomfortable. It's getting ready to we'll figure it out. Blast her your drums what? off. That's right. Assume every is a true believer Bring me willing back to do whatever their superiors <laughs> tell them. I joined up because that they had to be me a better life. One of the more annoying things in the in the Will game. You escape the shadows. But they lied. The anchorite agreed to help me. For a almost price. as um almost as annoying as in uh, Fallout. It's like uh, <laughs> I got word from a settlement. <laughs> I will take the settlement over Merida's Beacon any day. <laughs> would, would you? Yeah, I like Preston. Well, sort of. Sort of. Sister <laughs> Seldina knew I was talking to you or the anchor. Now, hey, Taryn, make sure you don't burn yourself up, Loveland. Okay? okay? I want that's, that's big one. That's one thing. If you if you power level, Look, it can it can suck it right out of you, man. Anchorite. Make sure you take yeah, your time with it. Yeah, me at the bearer's rest in far That Britain, that is what has really happened to me, to and that's why I'm only level twenty. <laughs> Tell the anchorite I'll be at the bearer's rest. It's best to take it either one she quest at a time or do short spurts of, uh, uh, you know, quick leveling, you know? If you want to gain a couple levels, you did it on PS4? Yeah. And if you and if you adventure with a friend, it's definitely more fun. Because I can see I can see this kitty cat right here get tossed around like a ragdoll. <laughs> oh, dang. I thought I was going to sit there and watch you, watch you fight that thing, but you just straight up obliterated it. Alright, so we need to go... Where's that quest at? He did give us the quest, right? It's, yeah, it's this way. We gotta go back to Fargrave, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we all need to connect up uh, sometime. I'm gonna test out this. And if you guys are wondering why I have a dead skill on my bar, I'm leveling my uh, two hand wrist. Well, dang, I didn't even get a chance to cut that one. My bad. You should still get the uh, stuff for it, though. It's fine. You enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Plants. Oh, I get Fighter's Guild experience while I'm in here. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, perfect place to level up the Fighter's Guild. Everything here is Dramora. Straight up wreck. This is a great that. area for harvesting. All day long. You'll, you'll be level 10 by the end, uh, by the end of the quest line. <laughs> they need to implement what, one thing I think that WoW did right. If you're in a group, you can each collect the crafting node. Yeah. That would that would have been something unique to do. I mean, they're not. It's not gonna really hurt the bots too much. They're already, they're already uh, farming the hell out of things. Fighters Guild up in Deshawn. Oh yeah, Deshawn is another good place to do that too. And if you're so inclined, uh, all the way up there in Alakir, if you're doing that, uh, that, um, that loop, the Alakir shuffle up there where they run from, uh, a dolmen to dolmen. Yeah. Yeah, no thank you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds boring. Yeah, it does sound boring. I would, I would just find it. Yeah, we need to go over here to the Fargrave Crafting Plaza. Can we... Am I going the wrong we, way? We can take a shortcut this way. I know a shortcut. <laughs> okay, I don't know anything, but... Yeah, the glowy blue uh, books for the lore books, or for the Mage's Guild, yep. So if you see any glowy books, D-Roy, make sure you read them up for that Mage's Guild. Yeah, I've been grabbing them. I found one over there talking to the quest giver. Are, are they trying to sell the zombie to this person? I want to see. One mortal delivered as promised. Calazan involves the grasp at his own peril. I don't hear any audio. He seems to think you cheated him. Yes, and he's a fool to think so. 
Kalazan made no mention of the oh, mortal oh, flesh's you, are you tradition oh, are you can talk is involving the... Ah, uh, you are mortal, so the distinction <laughs> matters to you. No, it is not unfair. Kalazan needs oh, he misses his family. He should be thanking me. listen to its wretched <laughs> sobbing about how it misses its family. He should be thanking me. The grasp do not respond gracefully to summons without merit. They will quickly rule in my favor, and Kalazan will be left to explain why he involved them in such a trifling matter. <laughs> I am eager to see what the Dramora are like we're ruthless, man. So ruthless. I, I wish we could play as Ramora. I know that'd be a great playable class. It's about, oh, I'm 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 thankful. I'm, I meant to get to you that one day. Just it got really super busy, and I, I was really glad that she was able to help you out. I look forward to when you actually go out there and do uh, do your thing. Let us know. There's all kinds of soul gems in here. Black soul gems. I bet they got all kinds of interesting dialogue here. New World Order. Oh, the guild traders are in here. Yeah. The blue fishes. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> What's this area? City district. Pack of the Dragon. Murder Machine Quebec. <laughs> what a guild Eternal name. Eternal Gunslingers. Oh, that's a nice one. And a world without guns. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we're here at the crafting plaza. We were here at the crafting plaza. I didn't see I didn't see our quest though. Huh. Yeah, it says to go to the crafting plaza, right? Yes. Alright, so we just came out of it. Interesting. Huh? The plot thickens. Dun dun dun. Are you sure? Yeah. It, it, it marks it uh, where we just came from. Huh. Yeah, you, you, you go search that direction. I'm going to search this direction and see if we can't find our quest. You know, I guess the smartest thing to do is this, actually. Oh, it says right in here. Is that Tardis? Crafting closet should be over here. Then. Yeah, okay, yeah, I found it. I found it over here. Leroy, if you come back into this um, this little uh, area, area, I'll lead you to it. Where are you at? Yeah, you're at the Mage's Guild. Looks like. If you step out that door, like you're going to go towards um, the Fargrave uh, Fancies, <clears throat> you're yeah. going to take uh, you're going to take that right and head back to the this door that you came out of. Actually, I'll come get you. It'll be a lot easier. Ooh, a Dark Elf Nightblade to match Nehru. Nice. Dude, Nehru, she she's such a really good uh, she's a good character. They designed a really good character with her. She's intriguing. I don't even know who that is. Oh, do you not? Oh, she's really intriguing. When you get to her, if you ever play any of the Mormon coming. stuff, Fargrave you'll really enjoy gone. her. And uh, some of the old Mary Dominion no point. stuff, actually. No point at all. No. Wait. No. 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 Sorry, not all Mary. Oh, I'm already down. Yeah, I saw you. I, I followed behind you. Okay. New crates. Ooh, what crates? Oh, new, uh, probably uh, new to you crates, right? Like for ESO? I was about to say, I, I was hoping the new one hadn't dropped yet. I hadn't got the old stuff yet. <laughs> yeah, D Roy's AD. He buckled in there. He's like, yeah, I want to I wanna stick it to uh, Kaiser. I'm going to show him how this game's done. And he, and he made one. Yep. All we got to do is sharpen his kitty's claws and we'll be good to go. Over here, friend. Lord I'll eventually will make visit another one on the uh, ash heap. Mark my <laughs> DC, but for Queen Iron, Dagonus are barely worth the effort. <clears throat> I followed them into the plaza and destroyed the votive room before they even noticed I was there. And the grass decided to get involved finally. Hey, 
Did you learn anything from my contacts? <laughs> you know, if you had an uh, if you had an account on the PS4, at one point in time they gave away three free race change and three free uh, name change tokens. I think they might have given away alliance change one time. I'm not sure though. Adam, when I, did I, I, you I didn't get any. She you didn't get any. You oh, it's, it's a shame. Free the first time. I got. Uh, that, it gets, it gets <laughs> hoping I switch to AD. The shambles is a big place, <laughs> but now we know more than we did when we started. Did you also make contact with Tealgo? Yeah, I made contact. I said, Uncle Carter. Pod? In the shambles? In the shambles? Must be the old bar. Oh, I remember the shambles. The this is a fun place to go. Have been burning forever. You didn't get one? Aw. Oh, shame, what shame. About the voted room? It's okay. How does it's okay. It's not all it's cracked up to be. To conquer Fargrave? Damn it. No one is going to conquer Fargrave if I have any say in the matter. I suppose we need to investigate the old bathhouse. If we find oh no, do <coughs> maybe we'll find Leon So Jess too. is on your side? I guess I need to, I might Let's have to make an AD shambles. character too. We can discuss our <laughs> there. I mean, a, a DC character. <laughs> DC's the best. Once we enter the shambles, when you die, we work our way together to the old bathhouse. You. <laughs> make sure the they can't get back can up, right? Place, Just take the soul gems out of their pocket. That's, what, that's all you got to do. Warrens it's like taking the batteries out of uh, out of a toy. Just there are three main can't turn back on. Shambles. <laughs> you can take any of them to reach the bathhouse. Just that it's mostly abandoned, hasn't been used by anyone but squatters and vagrants for years. Mag. It's isolated at the northern end. I want to. I want to play a DK so secure, bad. And I'm still not even used to different classes. I'm, I'm still all heavy in my Templar. It's hard for me to try something new. Mostly because I don't get a whole lot of time to play around, and when I do get to play, I, I wanna, I wanna jump on Robert. I said, I'd tell <laughs> you, I, I don't, sure I don't I derive far you. too far from my main. Let's find out what's waiting for. But I need to if I want to start uh, experiencing different parts of the game. So some Dramora. classes are just, they're After better that, for certain situations than others. Because DKs I hear just wreck people in Cyrodiil all day long. They just got the skills mm -hmm. to do it. See, my DK is gonna be Evan Hart packed because it's a Dragon Knight. Just you know. that it's mostly right. abandoned. Hasn't been used by anyone but squatters and vagrants for years. It's I'll probably make my night blade uh, shambles. Easy to secure DC. And unbearably hard. Ooh, 932 crown gems? All right, hey, Taryn, in all honesty, save them. Save every single one of those crown gems. The only reason I say that... I said I'd let, me, let me get this out I here. I need to go to the bathhouse. Once we right. enter the shambles. You will see. So, only reason I say that is um, when they release that double, that, du that dual mount where you can actually have a rider with no you, here. more often than not, because they everything that is worth having usually is locked inside the crown store. I would save every single one of those because you're going to probably see that thing be as expensive as. Uh, I almost bet a bottom dollar on it that you're going to see that thing be as expensive as probably some of these Apex mounts. So I would save every single one of those crown gems. There we go. Yeah, something like that. It'll probably be worth around that or that. As far as crown gems. I'd save them. Spin, if, when you play your spin to wins, just hold on to them. Because that dual mount, I promise you, is going to be uh, one that you have to buy or spin for. You like watching people walk. <laughs> you know, I'm, okay, right before the announcement for the um, right before the announcement they, that they told us they were getting dual mounts, right? I was messing around with my camera settings. I'll show you what I came across, right? So I was sitting here trying to find a way to show off the uh, the rat loop while uh, being able to emote and stuff like that, which I, I didn't really get a chance to do it, so I just had to use some uh, older techniques. So um, I was going through my camera settings and uh, all my um, uh, companion settings, and I saw this. So I went to, uh, what was it, gameplay. I went to companion right here. I saw this right before they uh, talked about it. I saw companion pre uh, uh, passenger preference. I'm like, oh, so that's interesting. So you can have your you have your guy not ride their mount, 
And then I saw right here, it says multi-rider mount. I'm like, hold on a second. I thought they scrapped that idea. So I was super excited when I saw that and then they announced it today. So I didn't really get a chance to, you know, make any content on that because that'd have been fun. But I was kind of hoping the two person event <laughs> would be like a Dremor thing, like a, shambles. not a, place not a horse. Oh yeah. You give it Let's time. They're going to, the they're going to flavor that thing in 10 ways to Sunday. You can see, Ro you know, no, to get that right, Rose is not just going to put him in chains and walk behind here. She'd probably put him on a slid or a, sl a little a little sled or something like that. Or not even that, and just drag him on the ground across the entirety of where they're going. Come on, Robots, let's get this done. <laughs> Ooh. Good soup. Oh, there's another quest over here. Is there? Oh, there is. Or is that our actual quest? No, no, it's that's an extra quest. Choose a direction. Might as well pick it up, though. Gain row, through the western warrens, oh, or directly better. north through the central plazas. <laughs> the days are gray while I'm away from your side. All I need to do is deliver an odd plain. Oh, what is it? Plain stone into the keeping of Nass, Madam Wim's assistant, and all will be well. I will have a pact, and we can begin our lives together in Farsley. I should explain this better, my dearest. I've entered a contract with a Daedra named Madame Wynne. She and her associates pay good coin for certain items to be brought to them. You know that I have longed to join the... the Gleaners of Arborus? And even though my skill level does not allow me to access... allow me access into the esteemed group, gaining Madame Wim's favor will surely persuade them to reconsider. I look forward to being in arm in your arms again. All my love. Up here. Oh, well. Well, he's taking his uh, permanent snoozles here in Fargrave. <laughs> well, why would you want to bring somebody you love to a plane of oblivion with Daedra run rampant? <laughs> the question is, why not? <laughs> the question is why not? <laughs> I mean, you're willing to walk through hell together. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true testament of love. You remember that? Remember that time you said you'd go through hell for me? Well, it's time to prove it. <laughs> so the the bathhouse is all the way in the back. We'll get there in the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you need to get off the side. Get back here. Oh, he's a boss. That's Look at him. The vanquished. Enzir of the vanquished became the vanquished. Ooh, plenty of containers. I mean, I'll take the Wabajack for a loved one. There we go. <laughs> Dude, that, that, that thing is broken. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The crown kit. Yeah, let me show you right fast. Let me put that on for you. Let me see. It's, it's a, one of my new costumes. Holiday, Balmora, Vested. Uh, I think this is it. No, that's not it. Give me a second. I forgot what it was called, but I, I'll know what it looks like when I see it. That's not it. Sir. Nope. Uh, duster. Nope. 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 Alexia. Definitely not. Where's that bad boy at? Summit Lord. Nope. That's not it either. Not the Traveling Merchant. Where's it at? Oh, let, me, let me look in the store. I, I, yeah, I did I did tell you I was going to show it to you. Let me show it to you right quick. Sweet. I found some sweet rolls. You found some sweet rolls. Not as good as Raynaud's, but the sweet rolls nonetheless. They might be Raynaud's. Who knows? <laughs> This was one of them. 
That's one of them, the Dark Shaman. Nobody wants to see a bare-chested uh, Robert, though. That's that's not a pretty sight. So let's show you the other one I got. Oh yeah, buoyant and gently. Okay, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a female outfit, but just for uh, kicks and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> That'd look better on a woman. <laughs> nah. You don't think so? <laughs> oh, and then I already have that one. That's not, I didn't get that one in the crate. Alright, that's it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that PvP outfit. It actually gives PvPers something to earn and something that's only truly theirs. So it gives you a reason to go out and the PvP. The There's a really cool to be their territory. I wasn't we super impressed with the outfit, but I did like the helmet. Oh, yeah. Dude, if you mix and mash that in with a bunch of other stuff um, out there. Especially if you get the right set of colors on it. Oops, I'm I'm really, really Above you. I must have gotten this one already. No. Yeah, I've already got I'll follow you though. Hmm. No, it's on top of that thing. Oh, you climbed the uh... jawbone. <laughs> I think we'll have to go up and around. Gets... Yeah, we'll have to go yeah. up and around. It was worth a shot. No, no remorse! All right, but how do we get up there? You have to come around here. Uh, there's a there's an entryway right over here. Ah. Yeah, the Ebon Shadow stuff is actually pretty good looking. It's it's not bad looking at all. Oh, uh, speaking of mo extra motifs, um, if you're looking for more motifs so you can stylize your character, uh, when you get on next, uh, where I sent you that invite, uh, you'll be able to get into the guild bank and just you'll be able to take anything you want out of there. So if you if you see it and it's there, you can have it. Should be right over here, Leroy. I'm fighting the boss down there. Oh, there's a boss. Ooh. Oh, that progress. His name is literally, his name is literally Boss Kezo. Boss Kezo, he looks like a Nord. <laughs> he farted in the jar and he's letting it out, wafting it around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, hey, feel free. The the bank is also full of stuff uh, for research as well. So if you need uh, research things, I keep it chock full of research stuff. Uh, the only thing I don't place in the guild bank uh, for research, so you can grab it whenever, is Nernhone stuff. That's a special request. If you need that, just let me know. I'll craft it for you and send it to you right off. So that's the only thing I won't put in the guild bank. Nernhone? Yeah, the Nernhone stuff's expensive. What, is, what uh, it's, is that? It's a weapon trait that allows you to increase your weapon damage by like 13% uh, as base, and it increases up to 15% when you got it all maxed out. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a very, very... Well, let me know, because I've got a lot of extra pieces, and or I can help you grind out sets. Um, so if it requires something specific, let me know. Especially if it, if it's uh, if you need Balrog. I'll stick with you till the end on the uh, March of Sacrifices. You wouldn't believe it. I was so mad. So I, I tried to do the March of Sacrifices at a good time. So I could actually have it for a PvP night stream, but it ran me over so late, and that's why we're not doing the PvP stuff tonight, because it ran me over so late. Uh, but I, I had to do that dungeon three times. The first time, uh, a guy decided all of a sudden he had to run. A, he had to go run a trial, and he dropped us right there at the right before the last boss. So he left us, and then everybody else left behind him. So it kicked me out of the dungeon. Uh, after that. Um, I queue up for another one, and I had waited, now mind you, I had waited 30 minutes to queue for that one on Veteran. So I get, I queue up for the next one, right? It comes within like 10 minutes. And, uh, we run it. And like halfway, halfway through it, um, 
they all just end up uh, leaving as well. They just they leave. They just flat out get out of there. I'm like, come on, man. How is this happening? And then the third time I ran it, I actually had a group of people that we actually stuck with it through the entire thing. Um, they were really nice. Uh, they weren't uh, they weren't used to the dungeon, so it was uh, it was a slow go, but uh, it was all right. I actually learned a couple things while I was in there while we were doing that. So that's the bathhouse up ahead. But it was aggravating, uh, getting dropped two times when you're trying to run a dungeon like that, especially on veteran. Ooh. Inspect the bathhouse door. If the main door is sealed, let's see if we can. There's not a male and female side. Is there like a Dramora side? Oh, is there a side entrance? Of course there is. Of course they leave the side door open. <laughs> what kind of uh fang layer? Let's go. Oh yeah. I will definitely do it because I need color as well. Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have the whole set of that. And I need to fill my sticker book with that, that, that bad boy. So we'll jump on. We'll run it together. We'll we'll make a time of it. You let me know and uh, we'll get on and we'll, we'll we'll grind that thing out. That's the last of them. Whatever I have, I'll give you whatever. Uh, Whatever I don't have, I'm deconstruct. <laughs> yeah, when your tank leaves at mar on March of Sacrifices, that's that's a rough go. It really is. I mean, it can be done, but man, are you just are you running around everywhere? I mean, I I, I played healer the entire time, and I'm a, I like to I'm not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm a pretty good healer, and uh, I had to had to pick up people a lot of the times, and. Uh, I could take a hit or two, but uh, not for an extended period. Hmm. That's bad, Kaiser. What's that? The tank left you. Oh yeah, no, it was it was rough, man. When the tank left, the whole group left. That was the first time we got dropped. We should be able to find a way inside through the undercroft. It runs beneath the bathhouse. I don't. I don't mind how long the dungeon takes, as long as it gets done. And <sighs> luckily enough, I was able to get my uh, my helm with the right trait and an the idea. right uh, and the right uh, style. So it was a heavy with the uh, enchanted uh, with the enchants that increase. Unlike the door outside, this I'll area contains everything we need to disrupt the magic sustaining the ward and dispel it. I've seen the Daedra use these crystals to do all sorts of things. Hmm. I spotted a lucent among the debris in this hall. It's a Daedric crystal that can absorb and store the background energy that pulses through all the realms of oblivion. We'll need that to get started. Oh. That's kind of crazy a crystal does that. The dynamis font over there. That background energy I mentioned, the well. font absorbs it. Place the lucent on the font and it will fill it with the charged energy. Hmm. Finally, Insert the charged lucent into the discharge labyrinth beside the door. That will release the energy from the crystal and disrupt the ward. That's the idea, anyway. Can I not sell the lucent? I know, right? It almost sounds like it'd be an ideal thing to take back home and sell on the market. Then place the charged crystal in the labyrinth beside the door. Once you, as I am. It worked, and now you know how to use a charge lucent. Since we're on the same Let's quest, for me, you door. can actually complete it too. So I, I actually follow oh, my along bad. with your. No, you're good. I didn't expect that to happen, but since we're on the same page, it, it works like that, which is great. Hey, Star Steel! Oh, dude, I I am super stoked about the medieval sets. I was hoping when I saw the jousting arena, I'm like, please let there be some sort of event, mini game, or PvP thing with jousting. That would, that would, just, be, fun. That would be the business, man. I'd, write, I'd be jousting every day. <laughs> Get on your oh, horse crap. so I could just knock that, you off. That flame strike that girl does. Uh, uh, Miri? Oh, that yeah. That's freaking cool. Miri but it wasn't Miri, that was that, uh, that, was oh. that NPC we're traveling around with. Really? Yeah. I didn't think it was her. Because Miri's got a sword and shield. 
See, we uh, we've actually been uh, me and Raindre. We've actually been to uh, one one or two medieval festivals before, and, and they, they are they are pretty fun. There's a lot of neat things you can see there, and uh, you can see um, a lot of the people dress up in uh, armor and just smack each other around. Respect. <laughs> That's always something I've been wanting to get into. I could just imagine myself in uh, full play armor, getting out there and whacking somebody with an axe or uh, a maul. <laughs> I see my spell brought the help I requested, but I didn't expect there to be more than one of you. Okay, so we didn't dress up as anything, but I'll tell you this. Randre oh, did so buy a uh, a, a, a peasant's uh, outfit, so I'm she's got like the peasant's outfit. She actually got the little the little white bonnet. So it's like a, a, a no dirty uh, light green but color and the long white sleeves and all that stuff. Oh yeah, it's it's really cool. I like it. So if she were to ever dress up in that, we'd, we'd have it we'd have it done. An unusual appellation. And I kind of got kind of got some old robes and stuff like that. When I heard that Sister Seldina <laughs> had arrived at their headquarters that would in be shambles, fun. I had to act quickly. You can I think um, there's actually one thing. She actually has another Finding outfit or a costume. Took more time than um, I expected. And even then, getting I bought it for just because it was uh, I bought it as like but a gift because it was together. something to have, something to short work say that she actually has one. Um, but the, when I was over in Iraq uh, back way back when, I end up buying her like a belly dancer outfit and it has all these sequins and the, and the mask and all this other stuff. I'm like, oh man, that's really cool. And I, and I got it for, her. <laughs> I think we still got that bad boy. We'll, we'll have to, we'll have to throw it out uh, and uh, show, show you guys some of the costumes and stuff like that we got and the outfits. My reasons are it's my pretty own, neat. little mortal. Suffice it to say, I want to determine how Sister Seldina plans to utilize the votive rooms to seize control of Fargrave. She wants to use its many portals as a gateway between the Deadlands and Nurn. Even a Dromor of my talents cannot hope to stand alone against the Dagonists and an army of living disasters. Mm. I seek to learn so this time back into the secrets. You want Clockwork to City? The no, Blackwood. Destruction. Together. I thought uh, Silta still was uh, Clockwork. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, I hadn't gotten that far. She's yeah. smart. And ruthless, oh. a powerful combination in a mortal. My bad. No, she didn't... commands the Dagonists here in Fargrave and oversaw the creation of the Cataclyst. With that device, she plans to create an army of living disasters to unleash upon Nern. Daedra empowered to unleash destruction upon the mortal realm and make it easier for Mayrun's Dagon to conquer Nern. Did you know he's tried before? Dagon broke an agreement, and the doors between the Deadlands and Nern were sealed. He can't use them. Oh, snap. That's why he can't invade again. That's why... That's, uh, so that kind of leads a little bit of story back into Oblivion. Why he, uh, why he has to use the Oblivion portals and stuff like that. Sotha Seal, one of the so-called living gods of the Dark Elves, supposedly made a pact with various Daedric princes to protect Nern. I don't know the details, but Dagon broke the pact. So the seal slammed the doors and closed off Dagon's connections. Ooh. Okay, you're right. So that does that goes back to the Living Tribunal. You're right, D-Roy. Yeah. Because uh, they, they call them the House of Anticipations. Like the the gods that it should be... Um... <sighs> God, I can't, I can't think of my lore right now, but... Uh... Everything about Sotha Seal's pact is rumor and speculation, so that is what I hope to determine, and I want to examine the Cataclyst. The attack on Fargrave could begin at any moment. Shall we enter the next area and see what Saldina is up to? He dress up as Leona? <laughs> Almalexia is pretty cool. I remember she was the first one I saw out of all of the tribunal uh, gods. Of course, I mean, in the base game, that's it all you get. But... Again. The spell has run its course. The glow will not return. Now, to deal with this ward. Well, as far as uh, as far Come. as the lore I goes and what they were talking about, the High Island, 
was uh, it's like a it's like a secret place where people can do uh, uh, like a, a place all on its own where people can actually have peace talks without the pressure of the three banners war or any uh, faction. So uh, I mean, they, they want they they're, they're looking for a way to end the war, and they're all excited, they're all about it. But there's some people that want to keep the war going. I'll take the one on the left if you want the one on the right. Yeah, I'll take that. Dagon himself taught me this ritual. Flip. Easy peasy. Come and take us. Take you. That work. Ruin You're gonna offer yourself. I'm gonna have to take nothing. That, Dramora. You and your companions both. Sister Seldina got away. And we'll <laughs> Dude that flipping out with a fan over no. the banner. Sorry, no. buddy. Let's chance. Let's talk in the next room. They made their choices. So be it. <laughs> Once you're in with the lines, you're loyal to it. Then you need to keep yourself away from High Island. You'd probably be fighting against the people wanting to uh, foster peace. I see how it is. <laughs> is that what your queen would want? Needless elven bloodshed? Nah, nah. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I have to tell you this, though, um, uh, Jessica, you, you missed it the other day. So uh, me and D-Roy were tuning in, and we, we kind of jumped in on somebody's stream, and they were playing Skyrim. And <laughs> we had the most fun going back and forth about who was, who was better for uh, a better faction in Skyrim. The Stormcloaks or the Imperials. And then, you know, we, we talked about the Elves. We talked about how the Empire's spineless cowards. You know, all the good stuff. I did not think Sister Seldina capable of performing such a powerful ritual. You did well, mortal. A few more moments Tell me when and the you magic can be, would have exploded when you gotta, when your charisma fire, the modifier has to be enough. Destroying all of the Daedra, <laughs> including me. Yes, but she fled in haste. That means she probably left something behind. Let's search this bathhouse. Bring me whatever you find. Sister Saldina's abandoned paraphernalia may be of use to me. And it may tell you more about the threat to Nern. I tell you this: they call it a bathhouse, but I've yet seen—I've yet to see one area where they bathe. From what I could devise, oh, whoa, whoa. don't get too complicated. The <laughs> don't get too complicated. City, siphoning the energy <laughs> generated into Sister Seldina's ritual, <laughs> she planned to use that energy to destroy the Daedra, including the Grasp, leaving the city defenseless. Yeah, I don't either. There's cages up here, though. You forgot who is who. Well, we're gonna have to play some Skyrim at some point in time. We'll do a we'll do a fun role play uh, of a a version of that if you want to. We'll we'll go through it together. <laughs> Whichever faction makes you more money, Taryn. Uh, I, you know, I kind of like that logic. I kind of like that logic. Yeah, it makes you the winner a hundred percent of the time. Imperials get that gold boost, so. <laughs> That would accomplish nothing. The and they're already well established in not being led by traitorous racists. Seldina will pay for the various insults. Hey, 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 hey. is many things, played. but not a cheat. <laughs> <clears throat> Using a thorn in a combat and a, and a duel. Yeah, that's not cheating at all. Uh, all, he, all he had to just say is you suck, and that, that was probably a thorn in itself, and he died from that. He, died. he did not cast a vicious mockery, okay? He, he died from emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find, little mortal? Dude, did you have to teleport up the stairs? Can't you walk? Tell me what you found, and I shall determine if it has any significance to my quest or Ooh. to yours. I may have to do that. Of course, it's going to have, it's going to, have to be on the PS4. Hmm. Nor can I. And while your literacy may be in question, mine certainly is not. This is no language, 
mortal or Daedric. You I've got it from PC. Code. One oh, yeah. D Roy's got all the good stuff. Like he he could definitely give you a good playthrough of uh, um Fallout. He's he's built for that. Hmm. Maybe. Don't you have that one where uh, the whole map is zombies? Yeah, I I've got a player on my load order. I downloaded a mod to add um it was no. I didn't read the whole thing. It was supposed to, it was recommended in the, uh, to add more creepiness and gore to it, but um, some of the gore is not suitable for Twitch. <laughs> I'm sure Fargrave must have someone with those skills. <laughs> yeah, that that is funny. Like you, you see, you seen that when they uh, showed that in the video, right? As soon as they start off the we event, uh, Deroy, the where they uh, where they fire those arrows at the guards and they hit them right in the knee. To to <laughs> yeah, they shot their knees out. I'm like, God, no. perhaps the anchorite. It had to happen like that, man. To took them out of the adventure. From prying eyes. Luckily, they weren't adventurers; they were guards. So. <laughs> They could never use that line. I was once an adventurer like you. What I seek still eludes my grasp, so our business is not yet concluded. You ought to be grateful. I can be a powerful ally. We've gotten plenty of when melons in here. Strikes me. <laughs> I will meet you. Let's meet at the inn in Fargrave. There is rest. We can talk privately there. Bathhouse has no baths, but plenty of melons. <laughs> Lots of melons in the bathhouse, eh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cover, oh, cover his eyes because he <laughs> you're mean Jess you're mean Looks like we made it out of there alive, eh? Okay. That's a fun of it. What the, uh, the... Oh, you're a Templar, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like toppling charge. I want you to rush in. I hit him with the, uh... With the light, and they come in because they have that minor breach on them, it gives you a little bit more damage. <laughs> you know, um, I was about to say, uh, Jess, it, it, if you remember seeing our first one, uh, Rose got to shoot Robert in the knee. If you, if you go back and you see one, our very first video we made, as hard as that thing is to listen to. I mean, our, our audio was definitely not top tier back then. Uh, it still isn't now, but it's still a lot better. But, uh, when you can get past the audio stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty funny at the end. Uh, Rose gets to shoot him right in the knee. Problem blind. Take the whole stand. You can take everything out of that stand. <laughs> oh, the mushroom stand. I can't see it anymore. Oh. Ooh, I wonder if I can take the lanterns. Shermetta. Keeping the peace? Oh, I guess if you take out all the little crime bosses and uh, mafia people, uh, you can actually get an achievement for that. Nice. Speaking of achievements, uh, global achievements. What do you guys think about that? I'm super excited about that. I'm glad about that. I wish the motifs could have fell under that, though. Cause, uh, you know, I, wish, I wish mount speed was count one. Oh, dang. Yeah, that would be great. I only have to go through that entire process once. It'd be amazing. 
I got all to my account just so I can level their mount speed up every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got lazy on that, and I, I stopped doing it after a while because I was like, man, I just ain't got enough time to do that. But it, we'll, we'll have to see what that definitely pulls on because I'm excited about any, any extra things. Yeah, just just some achievements. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's some other useful stuff that can get moved over as well, but that's the biggest thing. Oh, Templar is it's probably the most fun I've had in any class. I mean, it's super easy to play, but complex enough to actually do fun, uh, other stuff with. I mean, it's no necromancer uh, as far as, you know, setting the, uh, setting the standards for doing all kinds of crazy stuff, but... Oh, glory! Alright, hey, D-Roy, after we turn this one in, you want to go hit a dungeon really quick? Can we do that? Okay. No, it'll probably be easier if we just teleport back to town. Shh, don't, don't tell Deltia that Necromancers aren't good. <laughs> he, he loves his Necro, don't he? Well, I think his Stamplar, I think he said, or Stam Sork is his favorite. But. Uh, first, I don't watch a lot of his stuff, but somebody, he, I seen a clip where he had said that uh, it's, it's Nick or Romancers were like the best class or something. <laughs> This turned in, we'll go hit a dungeon. I know. Oh, just did I need to go up? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, oh, was that up this way? Oh, yeah, you went back around. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you have some good stuff? He's, he's definitely one of the more the original creators for, uh, ESO as far as back in the day in the old old wild wild west of ESO and YouTube they had, they had some pretty good stuff yeah I, I think the ones I predom predominantly remember are him and uh, Kev do it I haven't I had the note quote me on that on his on him saying necromancer was best like he said it's got really good group buffs and stuff but I, I'm not don't quote me on that it may not have been him <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lucky Ghost is not bad either. He has some good tips and tricks and stuff to show you. Definitely experience at the game for sure. And and they're they're really they're really quick with their content, so they can get stuff out a lot uh, really fast, and it's really helpful. And it's good quality, so it's it's definitely good stuff. I think what was it you've, uh, you used to you picked up watching a little bit of uh, Brawl We Got This, didn't you, d -Roy? I did. Meet uh, meet at the Bear's Rest. Right across from the tavern up here. Hadn't tried it yet. <laughs> you know, I think there was one thing I heard um, that. Uh, He's going to come back what? Oh, I, 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 mark my words. <laughs> that's so wrong of me. That, that, that Daedra was just sitting there and minding oh his God. own business. I committed a heinous crime. I killed a Daedra in town. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking. I just killed something. It's sitting there chilling, minding its own business, and some random Breton with a staff starts thonking him. <laughs> How could you, man? Between two pets and one, so I've never ran a sork, so I'm not sure how to do that. Or a pet sork. 
That's that's out, that's out of the realm of what I know to do. Oh, I gotta get rid of my bounty right quick. I know that. I know the uh, Stam Storks got that one the clan of fear that heals like. Oh yeah, good heal, definitely really well. Heal. Just because you didn't get caught doesn't mean you didn't deserve to. Oh, don't don't feed me that bastion. Not like you hadn't done wrong in your life. I liked Miri. <laughs> Alright, so, um. I gotta say. I gotta say, we were watching the, we were watching the stream. And, uh, the, the Maligalag, right? <laughs> uh, that, that boss they were talking about in that dungeon. As soon as he said Maligalag, um. Or, or how he said Maligalag? Or something like that. I'm like, I can hear all of the D's nuts jokes right now coming from that. <laughs> it, it, it's going to happen. The memes are going to be priceless from that boss. Oh, achievement furniture. I assume you have accomplished Can't get anything, but what do they got here? Ooh. Oh, big spirals. So nothing cool. I wonder. Oh, wait, it has a visual effect? Oh, the lightning can drop on it. Dude, that is cool. I'd pay 60 for that. What did you find? Oh, I'm looking at the achievement furniture. Oh, that one has light. The storm, uh, the window, storm glass window has light come from it. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I turned the quest in. Sorry, I got, I got, I got sidetracked. <laughs> You're fine. Uh,. I was just letting you know, I, for, I completely got, I got zoned in in the... Um, you can do it, uh, you can do it with game capture, you just have to have like a, uh, if you're doing it from a console, you need an Elgato or something, or if you're doing it from a console, you can actually stream from the console itself. But as far as the computer goes, I don't think you can do it from the computer. Can you do it? Yeah, you can do it from the computer. Okay. Where'd you turn that thing in at? It says, it says I need to go in this, uh... Oh, I need to go below. Okay, thanks. I went to the wrong door. That's what it was. I think I went to the wrong door. You know, I'll turn this in later. Let's go do this dungeon. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So the dungeon we're gonna go to after I see you. Good lord. Can't tell it's late, can you? We're gonna go to over in I think it was East March. Dire Frost Keep. No, it's not Dire... Wait, it might be Dire Frost Keep. Yeah, it's, it is Dire Frost Keep, I believe. When I get there, I'll tell you to travel to me. So, uh, for you guys that's coming in, uh, we were talking about... Um, we were doing some light PvE stuff, but uh, I was saying earlier that in the Deadlands and the Far Grave, uh, there's actually a unique... Um, item you can get as far as uh, antiquities go and it's a, uh, a Daedric enchanting table so for you guys that's just entering uh, just let you know the pieces for the enchanting Daedric uh, the enchanting table that's the Daedric theme you have the first lead comes from getting the runestones the second lead comes from safe boxes that you pick from either Fargrave or in the Denlands themselves and the third piece comes from the final boss in the Daedric portals within the Deadlands. So you get to that final boss and you get that chest at the end has a piece to drop that last one. So <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah. I think this is I think this is it. Direfrost keep. Oh no, this is not I it. I am Eberic Direfrost of Falkreath. 
Oh no, is this the wrong one? No, I think it might be. Let me, let me go forward a little bit. The last living heir of oh, well, I just, I just grabbed the quest. I guess we'll... Castle that might keep you know, let's just run it. I've never been here. Ages, Wait, no, I have been here. Frost. The locals say that it is haunted. There's still a good set here. Despite I'm still, I, I mean, we can, we can, we can come, we can come back here for a, uh, later and finish. Should ill fortune if you want to farm a different one right now. I have left these no, let's, let's run this. You got the quest. Let's go ahead and go through it. You'll you'll love this story. This is uh this is one of the dungeons that you can't do with uh you can't do solo, you have to have two people. Only because of one of the mechanics when you go here. And your uh and your family is not uh, savvy enough to go stand somewhere for you and stay there. One second. You're fine. Go ahead. Yeah, Dire Frost is a fun place to be. There's a good set here. I can't remember. Uh, can't remember what it is. But once I grab a piece of it, I, I know. I know what it is. <laughs> I was trying to gather up Titanborn's gear. If you need a uh, merchant or anything, let me know. Keep recall stone, put that in there. Ooh, I'll keep my stations on me. Some space. Oh, really? Uh, so, summing a bank gets rid of your companion? Yeah. Silly, ain't it? Yeah. Can't have more than one of those assistants at a time. Hate for your uh, hate for your banker or, or merchant to get out there and fight the enemies for you. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's kind of garbage. Yeah, no, please do. Let's Help yourself to anything in the house. Um, if you ever need to switch standing stones, uh, parse or anything like that, I, I got some. I got some dummies in the house. I've got every single one of the standing stones. So uh, we've got the house is decked out. I'm uh, working on getting all the crafting stations, so you can reconstruct there as well. There's one of those. That, uh, it's, it's a good little place to sit and equip or sell stuff and get things set up. And if you're wondering which room is Roses, Roses is above the museum. You'll understand when you search through the house. You'll see a, you'll see a museum and hers the Gives me Skyrim feels. <laughs> Hit you right in the Skyrims. Ooh, this one was doing yoga poses. A horrifying sight. The residents of Direfrost Keep appear to have been fleeing, but now they're frozen in time, trapped in this icy tomb for all eternity. Is that one of the uh, guys on High Rothgar? It does sound like it, doesn't it? That voice is really familiar. Oh, got some Draugr. 
Yep, right in the sky. Oh, yeah, you're right. It sounds like the Yarl from White Run. It does. Um, oh yeah. Bulger. Bulger. <laughs> Every time I think of Skyrim, and I think of the, uh, I think of all the uh, guards and stuff like that in, in that game. I think of uh, one, uh, one, uh, one YouTuber in particular, uh, Manslayer, and, and his dang gamer poops, and how he makes them say crazy stuff all the time. I'm like man, <laughs> sometimes I catch myself saying stuff that this character to say that way. I like how he mixes the audio and makes him funny. Right over here is a chest, Roy. <laughs> he actually uh, he actually inspired us to do uh, some of our uh, some of our videos where we mix audio to do some of that kind of stuff in there. Like, if he can do it, we can definitely do it. And all we gotta have is a fully voiced uh, game. Oh, we got that. So we end up mixing some of our audio from uh, some of our videos to make him say things. So. Except for our latest video that we put out, that one about the, the eSmart surveys. Uh, we were actually recording, we didn't even know we recorded that bit, where you actually hear the people talking and yelling at that other guy for singing because their head hurts, because they're drunk. But that actually happened organically in the game. We're like, we didn't even know that existed until after we went back and listened to the footage. <laughs> like that's that's hilarious. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no one talked to you, Bastion. You only remember yeah, what's really important. Nobody likes you, Bastion. <laughs> He's too goody goody for me. That one's trouble. I just want to chug a potion. I keep thinking I have Molokena equipped, so I want to try to light attack twice to get my extra boost, but it's not happening. Ken is a good set to have for an extra boost of damage. It's all you gotta do to activate the uh, the helmet is to just light attack twice, and your body covers electricity for overpower. You're, everything may cost like eight percent more, but you get like an extra four or five hundred percent damage. No, we haven't got a chance to, or at least I haven't got a chance to watch the Slate Legacy of the, List of the Sith controller yet. Have you, D-Boy? No, not yet. I saw that. I seen, I seen in the chat, and I was just, uh, I started to watch it, but it, it was time to stream. Oh, wait, what? Uh, can't be worse uh, than the side Wingtown. comments on Sword War? Legend oh, what are the comments they're making on Sword War, Taren? Like to know what, according to my notes, I need a relic <laughs> called. The <laughs> Can I sit on your lap, Daddy? <laughs> to light the flame located in the Hall of the Dead. The map shows the hall down this side passage, it seems. Search the Hall of the Dead. This way. Oh, okay, okay. No, we appreciate that. It definitely helps us uh, stay updated on things. 
Because we can't catch it all, you know? I know after after the stream today, I'm going to actually take a look at it. Tonight, I say today. After the stream tonight, I'm going to take a look at it. It was kind of funny because uh, the ESO is doing Legacy of the Bretons. They're doing Legacy of the Sith. Well, that's, that's, that's kind of funny. It's like they almost planned that, you know? <laughs> nah. Nah, you don't think so? Nah, I don't think so. A level 50 companion can usually tank anything? Usually. Except for world bosses. They don't do a good job at world bosses? Nothing does goes good at world bosses. <laughs> Sith is more amazing. Don't give me that. You know the Bretons are are. are are just amazing. They're just there's so much more you can go into with Bretons and they're wide open because they both they got both the sides of uh elves and men. So the mer and men aspect going there. They just got a lot Let going on. And the earliest Man, Bretons go go raid dark and come back to me. <laughs> oh goodness. That one looks dangerous. You might you might have to direct me to that book. I, I won't have to read it, you know I definitely will get it. Speaking of things I gotta read, um, I was actually, I watched the season two of The Witcher finally, right? We got through all of that and all of that. Oh, I have not got through that yet. Oh, so amazing. I won't spoil anything for you. But uh, it makes me want to go back and actually read the books. And it makes me want to play the games. <laughs> I've never played any of The Witcher games, not, not a single one. Oh. And it seems like it'd be, fun, it'd be right up my alley, it seems like. Alright, so. Go on. Okay. So, do you, uh, do you already advance the quest? Yeah. They, uh, they, uh, they had been more focused on the red cards. What's going on here? There's something. Alrighty, so, D Roy. What's gonna happen is, uh, for this one. You've got to stand here. Oh, you good? Good. Thank you. Should I clear up some of my inventory? You want to sell some stuff? I'm doing it right now. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. You got the banker and stuff. Yeah, I got the little cat ones. I'm surprised you didn't go with the crows. Yeah, it was it was a tough call. <laughs> the red guards did get kind of stiffed on this one. They really did. They are the least talk raised them. I was actually hoping for uh, more expansion onto the, the to the Akavir, to Tell you the truth, I expected there be to be more of the Akavir. Uh, but I did I did call it though for uh, the Malmer. I knew Malmer were going to play a part in this. Alright, so D-Roy, you have to stand on this uh, little pressure plate right here. And then somebody's got to stand on the pressure plate over there. Yeah, no, there was no way they're adding a new class, especially with all the improvements they're trying to do with the uh, PvP. Because they, they had talked about doing a, uh, a re-architecturing or whatever, however you call that. Uh, so it's pretty much like a restructuring of the entire base of the game and how the, how it calculates. And probably they're probably going to go back and rewrite some of the code so it's more efficient at uh, trend and uh, doing the job. Because some uh, the way you write what the code. What are we in combat with? Oh, the things under us. So you need to step on oh. that pressure plate right there while somebody steps on over here. So that'll be me. That's why, oh. that's why this dungeon requires two people. Just for that. Get 
Hopefully the PvP will get better. I, I think it's not going to be till maybe <coughs> early 2023 before we see any real significant improvements to PvP. If they are working on it like they say they are, and they're going to go through that whole restructuring process uh, like they're talking about, we probably won't see anything significant uh, or any improvements or anything like that until 2023. We'd be lucky if we see any testing uh, with it being done this year. But if they're working on it, then it, that will be exciting. Cause that, that one time I actually stayed out there and uh, ran with a bunch of people in that area, you can definitely tell that uh, it, it definitely wasn't the quickest at uh, capturing all the movement and tracking everything properly because it's it just got overwhelmed because everybody's firing and everything off at one time. He's just chilling over here, looking off into the distance, monitoring life with his many worries. And... <laughs> Definitely getting Skyrim vibes. Oh, and these trolls actually regenerate health like in Skyrim, too. So if you don't burn them, they just build back up. Light the, f I gotta write that. Light the dire frost flame. Yep. Oh, fun little treat, D. Roy. When you finish, uh, every time you finish a dungeon for the first time, you get a skill point. Sweet. Danger close. <laughs> Danger close. I'm kind of interested in that myself. I'd like to see how uh, how well I do against an established PvP -er. even especially even if we just duel like a one on one. That'd be really interesting too. I'm finally free. I'm really interested in seeing how far I progress as far as learning how to how to fight in PvP land. Because I couldn't tell too much when I was running with that group. Because I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing this or if a lot of people else are doing the work and I'm getting then I'm picking up some of the kills. So I kind of felt bad about that, so I'm wondering if I'm actually getting better or what. So a one-on-one -on -one match is definitely going to help me. <laughs> you don't fight fair. 
Uh, I want them to make the big, huge Argonians uh, a race. I know they'd be too big, but you talking about those behemoths? <laughs> yes. Dude, yes. <laughs> or make that some sort of crazy Argonian transformation skill? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh yeah. Just to let you know, uh, there are times I'm actually open that throughout the day. So, if you if you're on throughout the day, maybe I can jump. I may not be stream uh, streaming or anything, but I'll jump on and we'll give it a shot for sure. I don't I don't mind uh, trying to jump on when I got free time throughout the day to to, to play and uh, give it a good fight. I know not all of us all have the same schedule. I don't have no long range heals? Are you kidding me? I, I remember the trial, the trial of healing here, so I'm sitting here trying to get buttons that don't exist. Hey, give me a second, D-Roy. Oh, you're fine. I was trying to I was trying to use a heal that didn't exist on my bar. Hope you brought your banker out. You lost your companion. Yeah, we're good. I know that's my banker. That's, yeah, that's your banker. <laughs> okay, there's my companion. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bounce between several different games. But it's, it's hard for me. Cause I've, always, I've constantly always got fought against your ESO going on, so it's hard for me to jump on another game. Because, you know, this one's all I really think about, like, the most part. That is until I get more time for it. Eventually, eventually, hopefully, when the channel grows, we'll actually be able to focus on two or three games at a time and make uh, content for them continuously, uh, you know, at a good pace, maybe two videos a month or something like that, depending on the style and, and the nature of the video. We'd, li we'd like to get to a point like that and be able to cover multiple games. I mean, as much as we love the, the games that we play, like Sword War and, and ESO and uh, all the other uh, games that we, when we play, we, we always want to we always want to play something new and experience it. We don't want to get stuck in the rut. Or at least that's how I feel. What about you, Dino? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, for sure. I'd like to do. I'd like to do more games, but like especially with these MMO style games, you know, finishing like, Sword Team and stuff, it feels like they take a long time. Yeah, they do. They're, they're designed like that, though. You know. Uh, it also it also helps prevent burnout. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you, if you sit playing one game, you all you do. Is Oh yeah, they did. As you said, they recently brought that back uh, and selling it again. So that would be something to throw in there and play for sure. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely gonna tell me how to run that. Tell me how to run that max orb. Cause that'd be something. Really cool. If I wasn't leveling stuff on my bar uh, during this, I would probably kill these things faster. But I've got several. Oh, uh, you're fine. I've got several dead. I got a bunch of throwaway stuff too. Now, let me let me swap out something. I'm not even use a storm pulsar. Something that does a little bit more damage. I don't even have a bot. Give me a second.
<laughs> yeah, I don't see how people run that uh, stuff like that in trials. That seems like a rough go. That's one thing I'd like to do a lot more in uh, ESO. Um, I have a I have a great guild I'm a part of. You know, the Phoenix Inquisition. They're an awesome guild. But unfortunately, a lot of them are, you know, a, a big bulk of the members are in Australia, which is, you know, complete opposite of my time frame. So I don't really get to connect with them too often. Uh, too often. But they're a great group uh, when I do run trials with them. They're excellent with trials. Uh, great with new people in trials. And I, I want to do more trials. It's just trying to find a guild to get established with and, and you know, enjoy enough to, to try to move about in. <coughs> Yeah, I need to get leveled up. I'd like to try one. Oh, I, I could recommend some. Oh, yeah. One day, um, one day when I'm able to put more effort into it, I actually want to put the Missy Forge out to, to be that uh, to be that gap filler, so you know we can go out and run content, and you know in a stress free uh, stress free environment. But I don't want to. I don't want to commit to uh, expanding the guild uh, too much right now until I can just, you know, guarantee I'm actually going to be on more than just, you know, a couple days out of the week. Just have to have to interact with people and run and manage. What is things. going on here? Hey, that's not fair. You're only supposed to, to use one standing stone. <laughs> she's using all of them, ain't she? <laughs> Dude, she looks like she's about to have a concert. Here comes the sun. Da, da, da. You should. Oh, <laughs> hey, when I said she was a witch, I expected her to be a hog raven. <laughs> the hag raven. Whoa, got caught up in that. Copy damage. Push that up. If this lady, you want to try, try to keep a little bit of range. You don't want to get too close too often. and the skill that took off my bar to level. For some reason, I imagined her being a lot harder. For some reason. Oh, I got my daily endeavor completed. Look at that! <laughs> Oh, water-based creatures, right? Yeah. I think she's about to go into a different phase here in a second. Uh, uh, nope. You're not going to get me like that. I forgot to put my execute skill on the bar. All right. Oh yeah, burn her down, burn her down, burn her down. Oh, there we go. That was about to get nasty. Noise. Let's see what they got going here. Oh yeah, uh, she's Aussie buddies. Aussie buddies. When they kill me, they know the message. <laughs> it could be their first name. I picked up the guild. Uh, because I was gonna leave my friend. Ah, uh, yep. Nice. Oh no, is it is it our sound that went out or? Or is it on your end? Oh, no, I see it. Stand by. All right. I'm not sure what's going on with the sound. Game sound went out. 
Uh, that happens. Let's see here. Give us one moment, everybody. We're gonna, I'm going to do something really quick. I'm, qu I'm quickly fixing the audio. Give me one moment. It should... Uh, Her concert got cut short. Yeah. There we go. Did that fix the sound? Sometimes I have to reestablish connection with the Elgato. Oh yeah, the the furnace. That that's a fun that's a fun set to get from here. Magic of furnace. There we go. Yeah, the Magicka Furnace is not a bad set. It gives you armor, spell damage, max Magicka. And uh, it allows you to restore Magicka every once in a while under 50%. So, uh, under 50% Magicka. So if you have trouble with sustain, that it, can, it can definitely help you out. I wouldn't say this is a, a set that breaks the game or, ma or makes an awesome build, but it's, it's something uh, unique for sure. Something fun to play with. One special treasure set I recommend. It's a secret. You gotta, t you gotta tell me now. I need to know the secret. You got me all. You got me all. Uh, expecting an awesome set somewhere. Oh, actually, you know what? There is a set I do want to get. Dagons. Ooh, hold on a sec. I'm trying to remember what that does. I'm trying to remember. Dark sheet camera. Where is it at? Black Heart Haven. It might be that actually. It's not over here at all. Um, Tempest Island. I will not go to Tempest Island. Sorry. Grave Fang. I can't find it. No, I'm not doing March of Sacrifices again. I'll be darned if I go back there after the time I had earlier. Yeah. There's no way we're two man in that bad boy. We just did Dire Frost. Ah, oh, Frost Vault. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. I'll have to look that up, because I can't remember exactly what it does. Dagons. Oh, you know, pull it up right fast. <laughs> Dagon's domination. See here. What Increase weapon to spell I damage. Do you call Max that? stamina. Ranja, Increase weapon to spell damage. Oh snap! Yeah, you're Earn right. That's 492 extra spell damage and uh, weapon damage to the uh, their I effect abilities. This time. I just need you are absolutely right. That'd be here. what six. You've squandered our head start, Landau. Six. Seven, seven hundred something extra damage on top of all the stuff we got going on. If you pair that with Deadly, man, that could be a great combo set. Because the Deadly adds uh, what fifteen percent to your channeled and area effects, doesn't it? Let me I'm wearing it. I could check it out for myself if I just look at it. Give me stand by. Your secret set. <laughs> on, let me see. Um. No, that wasn't. It's down here somewhere. Got it somewhere. There it is. That's Dark Convergence again. Cannons. No, I have it here somewhere. There it is. Deadly. Yeah. Da uh, your damage over time and channel abilities by 15%. So that'd be that's area effects. 
But your spears is also considered an area effect while being a channeled ability, I believe. So for a javelin, uh, for uh, for spears, biting jabs for a templar, I think that would be really good. Yeah, I might have to gather that one up and try that one out. Oh, don't go to this one yet, Deaver. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find uh try to find the other dungeon I wanna go to. It's the Witch's Coven one. I think it was somewhere around Wayrest or Stormhaven. Ice Reach, there it is. Ice Reach is where I wanted to go. This is the this is a place where you get a, a Titanborn set. And it, I, I feel it has a uh, great potential for PvP. I'll let you know when to travel to me. All right, go ahead, D-Roy. Travel up to me. Yeah, lose you. Yeah, well, once once I pull off of uh, we'll once I, you know what? While we wait on D-Roy to get here, I'll actually pull. No, I'm still here. I'm, I'm traveling to you. Oh, okay, you go. I thought you I thought you had to go uh, do something right quick. Never mind. When we get uh, when we get a piece, because I'm for surely going to get at least one piece of this right here. But I want to run this set. Cause I, when I looked at it last, I'm like, man, that has some potential. Hey, give me one sec. I'm well, I'm gonna grab a drink. You're fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. This right here, tight. This is it right here. Let me take a look right quick and I'll let you know the name of it. Yeah, so Titanborn Strength. So you know in PvP you're always getting knocked up and down, right? So as your health goes down, here's what it's got for you. The two piece gives you 1487 offensive penetration. The three piece gives you 129 damage for both weapon and spell. Uh, the four piece is just max stamina. The fifth, the five piece, gives you an additional uh, 110 weapon damage and spell damage, and an extra an extra penetration of uh, the amount of 1,240. But while you're in combat, this bonus doubles when you're under 75 percent and quadruples when under 50 percent. So your penetration and your weapon damage simultaneously go up the lower your health gets, and below 50 percent. Uh, you're getting like uh, four, uh, 440 uh, weapon and spell damage on top of the, uh, what, 4,800, no, 4,900 or almost 5,000 extra penetration. So the more you take a beating, the more you can dish out the beating. Or at least that's how I take it when I look at it. Hmm. Uh-oh. I lost my stream chat. Are you guys still there? I have to see. Nope. I'm still here. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> it looks like the stream's still going, so we'll see when the we'll see if the chat drops here in a second. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, you're good. I just can't see anything previous. So while I was off the screen, I came back. All the the chat disappeared. So. If you guys had questions, you might have to re-input them. I lost my chat for a moment there. It wiped. Alrighty. Huh. Yeah, but the Titanborn set, I think, is rather impressive and has potential. Yeah. Especially for someone like me who's always getting beat down. 
I'm always under under 40, under half health. You broke it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just going to blame you from now on, Jess. Anything goes wrong on the stream, it's uh, automatically your fault. Ah, uh, don't be like that, Kaiser. No, no, I, I want to I wanna do it. She's always vying for my death. She's always breaking my stream. There we go. <laughs> People call that an eye for an eye. Dude, I want some doors like that in my house. You know how smooth that opened? <clears throat> yeah, just don't... Uh... Just do me a favor and don't tell Rose that I went adventuring with you this time. <laughs> just don't tell Rose. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that, that, that's, that's irritating when somebody drops like that and you're trying to queue for a dungeon, especially one like that. That requires uh, somebody that knows a little bit about the dungeon some mechanics so you can get through it without being too aggravated. Speaking of mechanics, D-Roy, uh, we got, I'll, I'll have to tell you something up here about this next, this boss we're about to fight. It has a neat All little right. trick. Because well, I, I, the first time I ever played this dungeon, uh, I soloed it and I, di I didn't know anything about it, right? And, uh, when I fought this boss, I had I had a really fun time uh, fighting it, and it's because of one thing. Let me get there. All right, so when we get in here, you see this giant. He's go he's he's eventually there's eventually going to be like stuff that spawns out of the ground. You have to make him hit the stuff that's uh, that's forming on the ground and coming out of the ground. Oh, I remember seeing the stream yeah, where you fought this guy. Yeah, you remember that. I had a time of uh, fighting this guy until I saw that. And I'm like, oh, man, I could have been having him do that the entire time. <laughs> yeah, don't let that bad boy get you. He's enraged, so also don't let him smack you while he's got that going on. There we go. Alright, his hits hits are not as deadly now. I still hurt. Well, I think it's once we get them about halfway through, that's when that thing starts to, the spire starts to form on the ground. Your little griffin pet's just chilling in this uh, dungeon like, I'm just playing with everybody else, weaving in between people's feet like a cat. <laughs> Keep our distance. I'm going to save my ultimate for when we hit him hard. When we can get close to him. Hit very hard. All right, ready? We're going we're gonna to strike him right now. Oh, hold on. There's a spire over here. Oh, come on. Bring him over here, D-Roy. All right. Might be too late. That's oh, it's Mary. It, shit. Sorry. All right. I had to get rid of Miri. Smack. Oh, no, he got him. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we got him. Kept that Atronach out of the field. I had to get rid of Miri, though, so we won't have her helping. Ah, oh, dang. It's all right. Less distractions. We'll definitely need her at the end for the DPS check. I mean, it's, it's possible to do it by yourself and interrupt them and get everything going on, but... Oh, shit. I forgot he was enraged. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. <laughs> Darn. All right. Let me, let me, now's not the time to be leveling a skill. 
I'll do that on my own time. I'm going to set up for victory. All right, yeah, let me do the same thing. Uh, I've got Purifying Light. I'll use that uh, on the back row for debuffs. Uh, put that right there. Radiant Oppression here. We'll do a Puncturing Assault right there. We'll do... Come on, think. Spears. There we go. Blazing Spear here. Top lane charge. We keep there. Got that. We can swap. Um, we'll do Dawn's Light. We'll hit the Sunfire with the... Vampire's Bane. And we'll do that as... Since we're not sitting still, we'll hit the Vampire's Bane here. All right. Ready? Not quite. <clears throat> yeah, you saw you saw that smack to the face. If only we could have slowed it down for you and zoomed in as that club just pounded his cheek and just <clears throat> with its speed up at the last second. <laughs> All right. Good to go. I think so. All right. Hey, take it easy, Jess. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. It's always appreciated. Thank you. Have a good night. All right, here we go. No, no, not that. I forgot to keep my um my light. Shite. Here, go ahead and wipe right quick. I forgot to equip something. I was thrown off because I didn't have a certain skill equipped. Oh look at you. Boop. Oh, you survived that. <laughs> wow, your Kaji could take a hit. What level are you? 22. Look at that. You're a lot more resilient than what I thought, man. I thought that hit would uh, deck you for sure, but no. Oh. <laughs> I, almost, I almost had it. I almost had you revived. Almost. We're going to put the, uh, we're going to put the radiant. Let me switch. Here. Let me switch my, um, Vampire okay. <laughs> Radiant Oppression, we'll put that on the back bar's weapon swap. We'll put that right here. Radiant Oppression there, weapon swap back. And here we'll put Purifying Lights. We're copying that max damage. Uh, looks like he's he's all about that frost, so we'll hit up with Brass Rate. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do last Rate. All right, here we go. You ready, D-Roy? Yep, ready as I'm going to be. Bloop. Bloop. Oh yeah, we're we're burning high damage on him now. There we go.
Let me know if you see any icicles forming. Cop, Roger that. I think it's too early for that, but you never know with this guy. Oh, can you block his heavy attack? Uh, you might be able to. It'll, it'll, it'll just mitigate the damage. You won't be able to uh, to actually block it completely. So I, did, I didn't realize this, but running back, running back to my ultimate. All right, coming, coming. Where you at? Right here. There we go. That's a waste. I forgot. I need. Oh, over here. Come on. Come on. Give me a big old hit. Oop. He missed it. No, he got it. Oh, I did get it. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's not enraged anymore. He's going to be a little quicker on his feet. There's an icicle. I'll keep him here for a second. While he ground and pounds everything around him. Bloop. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've used my ultimate on him more, but uh, I foolishly forgot that I don't have a dual world weapon equipped, so I can't use lacerate. <laughs> Thirty-eight damage. Oh my goodness! Is that my is that my thing doing the damage? That copy damage? Heck yeah! Icicle. The front door. The front door. Yeah. I think it might be too late. I think we might have to fight it. Nah, I got it. Let me know when you got your ulti, and I'll, I'll keep him in the area for you. Uh, it, I used it while he went to smash the thing. Oh, okay. Man, we're burning this guy pretty hard. That copy damage we're hitting him with. Uh, I'm seeing 16s and 32s and 20s. Oh, man. Uh, I see over here. By the back door. Oh, nope. Too late. Burn them down as fast as you can, I guess. I threw out Life Giver. Oh, shite. Just run. Hit him. Just hit him with whatever you can. He's almost dead. Oh, yes, you got him. Good job, D-Roy. <laughs> you picked up my slack. Boop. You picked up my slack. Man, I need to... I, I, the only thing I do miss about the Necro that I was playing is that if you get the healing ultimate, it's... uh. It resurrects three people. Oh yeah, that thing's a massive. Uh, that thing's a massive resurrection. It's like everybody goes down in the trial. You just bring them all back up with a couple necros. <laughs> Is this right way? Yeah. Yeah.
There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have all my AOE attacks on me. I did this for purely for this is my uh, burn <laughs> bar. <laughs> oh yeah, it, when when you're uh, doing content like this, AOE is definitely the way to go because you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of people to burn down really quickly, and you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about them moving around too much, so you can get the full effect of that damage. So that's where I make yeah, the mistakes when I do builds for PvP. Is I think, oh, people's going to stand in my AOE. I'm like, no, no, they're not. This is my boss fight bar. Uh, what I what I've been using for bosses I have trouble with. Yeah, but I like that boss fight bar. Boss fight bar. Make it sound epic. <laughs> Easy peasy. It doesn't do bad single target damage. I mean, that's pretty good single target, just not good AOE. Right. Sometimes that's what you need for uh, when you got single bosses, though. I can melt the groups. So you focus on a single target, the one of the heavier hitters, and we can we can get through almost anything here. Ooh, that's a pretty nice statue. Look at that. That'd be cool to have in the house. Is that that's that dog of that Daedra? Yeah, or yeah. Daedric Prince, right? No, 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 no. That's not Barbus. Oh, it's just some random. Are you sure? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It looks like it almost looks like Barbus, don't it? See, right here, how they got a complete statue with the with the Nord. Oh, you're right. Lyris Titanborn. She's sitting there doing her thing. While we just decimate the rest of everything else. She takes out one person it's supposed to look really cool. I'm sorry, we're taking on like waves of people. We're doing our part. <laughs> Alright. She's gonna she spears. She's gonna throw fire down if you drag her into her own fire. Give me give me one second. Oh. I gotta I, I gotta I gotta get my food back up. Go ahead. Go ahead. You take your time. I got her I got her focused on me anyways. Oh, no. Wasted. Come over here. You're burning up. Come on over here next to her. Yeah, there you go. Keep on coming. I'll keep you healed. Stay on top of her with that fire. I'll keep you healed off. That fire decimates her. Nice little extra burn on top of that. Make her regret all her life choices. <laughs> all right, let me get my stuff back up then. Go ahead, you Let me try to summon Mira back, too. Yeah, I'm going to bring Bastion in. Unless, so we don't need one of the tank, unless we'll need a... Oh, that's the armor. Sorry, can't use it there. Not right now. Yeah, right before, uh, right before we hit the final boss, I think I might sw uh, swap up to my, um, to my PvP build. Because it does a lot of good single target damage. Okay. I should be able to summon my mount and ride my mount through the halls. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, uh, there's did a you know? Did you know that Mary hate uh, hates uh? When you, uh, brain fart, <laughs> uh, Mary hates it when you grab, uh, 
bugs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she, especially little torch bugs and stuff like that. She absolutely abhors that, man. I'm like, it's part of alchemy. I, I had her, I had her, I had her com- affection up higher than I, than it was. And then I, I, got, I went around catching bugs without realizing it. <laughs> messed, that, messed that all up. One, one thing led to another, and all of a sudden she's wishing for my death doing the black sacrament in the corner somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> sweet mother, sweet mother. <laughs> Send your child unto me. Ooh, exploding corpses. I was about to hit a potion and about to put my companion up again. Every time he tried to do his AOE, I just chunked him. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Get that out of here. Kill the Shambler. I can't remember what he does. He's I think this is just a burn. He's a Shambler. He might be. He's only 2.4 million. Yeah, there's not too too much complexity with this guy, I'm sure. Just stay out of the fire. Fire bad. Now I'll just stay in my little uh, little healing circle here and just keep them going around in circles all day long. Oh, get up there. Don't take that, Robert. Sling that slang. Oh, he hit so hard. Oh, zombies. They turned on horde mode. (laughs) There we go. And there we are. (laughs) Woo. You're doing pretty good in these dungeons. You're not doing half bad at all. How you feel about them so far? They're fun. I need uh, I I need to get some of my skills advanced a little better, but oh yeah, hey, you're holding your own That's, for sure. That comes with time. Oh, this next boss is going to be really really fun. Is this the one where we got to interrupt him? No, no, no. That's the very final one. I actually will have to swap uh, swap a couple of skills out if I want to go fight them. Okay, that was funny. I was knocked down and didn't realize it, and... I was throwing skills out and I didn't realize and it was letting me throw my skills out but I couldn't move. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that bug. <laughs> I'm down, but I'm not giving up. That's what it's called. <laughs> All right. What are you doing here? By yourself? Not a place to be.
14 K on a, on a spear like that. That's not bad at all. <laughs> now you got, I, I can't be the only one that thinks this. Don't you feel like a ghostbuster when you're using a lightning staff? Yeah. <laughs> you're, especially if you're fighting ghosts, you're just shooting with a, with a high concentrated uh, beam of energy. <laughs> Alrighty then. Just don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. You go left, I go right. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chest. Treasure chime. Thank you. Now stop. Treasure time. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. do. I think it's the wrong song. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> If there were a bucket to carry the tune in, we missed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's let's let uh, let's let our swords and stabs do the swinging and uh, singing. Oh yeah, I blocked that one. You didn't see me block it, but I blocked it. I promise you, I did. <laughs> Oh, he jumped up in the air. He did a dragoon move. Oh, you see the Atronachs? We gotta knock those bad boys out. If he if he gets if he turns into his avatar state, we're screwed. <laughs> Jumped out armor. No, how dare you use that move on me? I will not be immobilized. Oh, where'd he go? I was just about to strike him. There we go. Boop. Block that. Get out of there. Ah, dang. Thanks, Mary. Put me in with that. Oh, that was uh, that was exciting. Whoa! Who said you could be doing that, buddy? I did not give you permission. Okay, it's just our companions. I thought you were down there for a minute. I got you. Just stay in the circle. Oh, snap. All right, back up. We got this. I can't fly at him like I used to. I ain't got that skill on me. All right. 
Let's go ahead and keep our distance from him here. And then come in with a beat down. How you liking that, brother? It looks like she's sitting up there cussing at us. There's don't do don't just sit over there and point at her. Chase her down. <clears throat> I guess she wouldn't get over there no ways zipping around teleporting. I okay. can't. Okay, yeah, we need to go this way. Every sack, every backpack, gotta check it out. Yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff though. I, I was, I was not expecting uh, all that news that they were dropping in that, uh, that event. Um, the event thing. Um, in the global event, a live event they did today. I wouldn't either, and, and, I, and I hate I hate to be that guy, but that's how you do a uh, that's <laughs> how you do a expansion. Oh yeah, announcement. Sword tour needs to take lessons. Oh yeah, man. If if they if they if they built the hype like that, they they definitely have it going for them. I I feel they would. And that's a lot of content. I hate to say like sword tour. I know they got budget cuts and everything, but they've had a lot of lack of content lately i mean i guess there's not too many directions they can go story-wise is there i mean they've got their they've got their what they've got some ways they could go i think but it's uh or at least polish up some systems you know what i mean or make some um quality of life I mean, changes. The, that, that, that's what they're doing with the expansions mainly quality of life changes um <clears throat> I don't know what to wait and see. It might it might be okay. Just it's not gonna be as grand as uh what ESO's got going on. <laughs> Alright, stand by. Alright, this is where I need to equip a different skill set. Um, and I mean I'm a big and you know me, I'm a big Sword Tour fan. It's just uh, oh, yeah. I gotta be realistic on that one. Come on, I want the bananas. <laughs> All right, let's save this uh, I got here. Let's save this as my soldier of fortune. And let's equip the battleground brawler. Because this is my good uh it's my good stuff right here. I deal lots of high uh, high uh, high value damage to a uh, the high value damage. A lot of damage to a single target really quickly, so Alrighty. Ready? I guess I could always put on my companion too. They'll be good for a distraction at least. Assistance. Yep, ready. Yeah, we're gonna need assistance. Right there. Do I need to get rid of my tank? No, no, you're fine. Keep it. Uh, the more distractions, the better. Now uh, we need to focus on them in order. So if when I go to one, you just head up there with me, and we'll we'll beat them down together. Okay. Are they gonna come to us? Yeah. They're going to be a pain in the ass. Blocking is going to be a thing. You see him wind up for a heavy attack? Block that junk. You will not regret it, I promise. Right here, this first one right here. Once she goes down. All right, next one, D-Roy, over here. Oh, 
Oh, did you go down? Yep. I got you. I, I didn't get I didn't block her heavy attack quick enough. I was trying to uh do a uh There we go. What do we do now? Wait. Uh, I can't remember what we do now. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh, we got to interrupt them. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. That's where I fly around the map usually. You you got your uh, toppling right. Huh. That that uh, one move where you fly across, that you can no, use. No, I. That. Uh, uh, oh, here. I can one. put it on my bar though. Yeah, that'll come in handy. If even if you can morph it to toppling charge or something else to get that interrupt, it definitely helps out even more. Uh, I don't have any skill points left. Ah, damn. Tight. Right. We can make do as long as you can just interrupt them. You'll be fine. Oh, focus charge isn't even uh, able to be upgraded yet. Is it not? No. Nope. What do I get rid of? Hmm. I guess I get rid of my. Uh, I'll get rid of my heal. Just uh, be sure you keep an eye on me. All right. Give me a second. Let me. Uh... You know what? If you want to keep that heal, it's fine. Go ahead and keep the heal. Um. I, you know, I'll keep an extra heal on my front bar now. Uh. I need to put something on the front bar. It's going to help with damage. Stand by. Let me go to the old library of uh, moves I got here. I think Force Shock or this one. Clinch. Uh, nope, that doesn't work. Reach. There's two of us. We should be able to get two of them each. Yeah, we should be able to. Where's that? All right, interrupt spells. Here we go. I'm going to put this one on my bar. Do some interrupt spells. So we'll do that. If I can't reach them, I'll hit the L1 and hit reach them with that. That dang fire, fire aura thing. That's what sucks. Oh, yeah. It also freaks you out a little bit because you're like, man, how fast is this thing going to burn me down? <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like I was running out of mana really quick or their magic really quick. Are they, uh, do they zap you? Uh, the lightning staff will do that with a heavy charge to uh, lightning staff attack. It'll, it'll, it'll drain you out. That's how she does you. How's so if you heavy attack them, it'll. Yeah, if you heavy attack, you'll regain resources if you have uh, your staff. I mean, I knew that. I mean, it felt like they were uh, zapping me because I was, like, not gaining it as quick as I've been in the rest of the fight. Right. Yeah, no, their heavy attacks will take it out of you, especially the lightning one. I forgot I don't have my uh, a staff equipped, so I can't use the clinch I equipped. I've got a dead spot on my bar. It's doing nothing for me. That sucks.
go. Oh, there she's over here. Got him. Oh, yeah, we're tearing into him now. Now we got a rhythm down. Oh god! Yeah, right? I didn't uh, see. I no, didn't, she dropped me. I didn't see your. I got hit with an ice. I got hit with a heavy attack from way over there. Ah, sorry, buddy. I didn't see you. <clears throat> You're fine. I didn't. I didn't know. <clears throat> I didn't know she. Get, <clears throat> I didn't know she could hit me with a heavy attack that far away. Yeah. Pretty vicious. I got a life giver up, so you shouldn't have to worry about health for a second. Oh no. There we go. Burn her down, burn her down in the middle, in the middle. There we go. There we go. Woo. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. It's a lot smoother when you got more people. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, I think that this, uh, that gear swap out here in the middle really helped out. See, already getting used out of the armor. <laughs> Alrighty. Sweet. I think that about wraps it up for tonight's stream. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Alrighty. I I want to I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us on the stream tonight. Uh, we definitely got some uh, gear gathered, some levels gained. D-Ray a little bit more uh, sharpened on his claws here, so maybe he'll be able to do something uh, out in Cyrodiil next week, right? No, <laughs> no, I don't have any help on that one because I can't even get my stuff straight. Shoot, it will be it will be at least two weeks before I can do Cyrodiil with you, uh, at least on a Thursday, unless yeah. we do it on a different night. So. Yeah, it, it, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it for sure. But uh, yeah, next week we'll definitely be delving back into to Cyrodiil on, on a Thursday for sure next week because uh, I know you guys kind of look forward to that and uh, we're going to we're gonna get out there and see what we can do. Um, we definitely appreciate you hanging out with us. And I want to thank D-Roy for coming on and uh, hanging out with us and leveling with us. It was definitely fun having an extra person to adventure with. Yeah, this is a blast. Uh, I'll try to join you when I can. Oh yeah, no, yeah, Shh, man, you got you got stuff to do, right? <laughs> we we all be busy. We all be busy. Yep. But anyway, we hope to see you all in the next one. See you in the next.